We have new details tonight in the latest twist involving the Wayne County scandal that the seven action news investigators first uncovered. Wayne County Executive Robert Ficano has been ordered to sit for a deposition in a civil case against him. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Children is live downtown Detroit. And Cheryl, what are both sides saying about the latest development of this case? Well, actually, Stephen, Ficano's people are saying he looks forward to the deposition about giving testimony on the case. The lawyer for the plaintiff says she looks forward to the deposition as well. Well, I'm certainly glad he's going to have to appear. That's only logical and it only makes sense. He's the key guy. He's very important in my case. Deborah Gordon says she is pleased tonight with the ruling that says she can depose Wayne County Executive Robert Vacano in connection with the lawsuit she's filed against him on behalf of one of Vacano's former employees, James Wallace. Wallace, who worked as a graphic designer for the county executive, says he was fired because he refused to do any work for Ficano's campaigns or foundations on taxpayers' time. Ficano maintains that Wallace was let go as part of a cost-cutting layoff. Lawyers for Ficano had filed a motion that would have protected the county executive from any deposition in the case, but today an order came down saying labor lawyer Deborah Gordon can depose Ficano. However, it adds she can only do it for 90 minutes. I'm not happy about the uh, limitation on the time. I don't think that makes a lot of sense given our claims. They took my client's deposition for two full days, for example. There's a lot of issues in the case I need to explore, Mr. Wallace, on behalf of Mr. Wallace, and I think we're going to need more time. Now, a spokesman for Ficano says he has nothing to hide. He looks forward to giving testimony on the relevant issues in the case. The 90-minute time limit, they say, will ensure that the questioning will stay focused on the issues of the case. That was from June West, who is a director of communications for Robert Ficano. I also asked her if he looks forward to the deposition. Why did lawyers for Ficano try to protect him from the deposition? And she said that it is routine. As for that 90-minute time limit, Deborah Gordon says she will appeal that. At the federal courthouse, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. Now, Cheryl, any idea when and where this deposition might take place? And I asked Deborah Gordon that tonight. She says it should take place within a month, and it will likely be in the county executive's office. All right, we will bring you any and all new developments on the Wayne County scandal that the 7 Action News investigators first broke on air and online at WXYZ.com.